I'm very excited to be doing yet another webinar for you. So welcome to Begins Masterclass. I'm going to be talking about some really exciting updates that have come uh, to begin in 2024. My name is Farah and I'm a product marketer with Begin. And we also have Tilton with us today who leads the support team. Now, before we get started with the session, I would like to highlight a few ground rules. Number one being there is a chat box. Uh, there is a Q&A box which can be used to post your questions. We also have a couple of poll questions, so it would be great if you can take out some time to answer these. And lastly, this session is being recorded. So I will be sharing with you the recording of this session for your reference by tomorrow end of day. Now let's get started with the agenda. So I will be uh, giving you a roundup of the features that were released in 2024. I will also be uh, giving you a use case of how these features have helped a business, followed by a live demo of how to set these features in your Begin account. And we will be ending this session with the Q&A. So here's a list of the latest features or the top features that were released in 2024, starting from lead chain, customizable forms, pipeline permissions, stage automation for workflow, WhatsApp integration, Shopify, and much more. So I will be talking to you in detail in this webinar session. Now, let me talk to you about a use case that I've taken for this webinar today. The company's name is Ace Gifting, and let's assume I am the business owner of Ace Gifting. So it's a gifting company that specializes in customizing and delivering orders for B2B and B2C customers. So these orders are for various occasions such as uh, office parties, weddings, festivities, and more. Now, this is the business process of Ace gifting using the latest features that were released of begin so to generate leads we use the lead chain topping the email widget of zoho mail and begins forms so once the leads are generated we use the pipeline permission to assign these leads to the employees or the team we use stage automation to trigger workflow uh, that helps with automation. And uh, to communicate with customers, we have the WhatsApp integration with Begin. And now to talk about the B2C side of Ace Gifting, we also have the Shopify integration now with Begin, which is really helpful. And once the entire uh, you know, customer journey is completed, we use the formula field and the dashboard drill down internally to uh, view the deals and records within the business. Now, let me talk to you in detail about these features. Number one is lead chain. So lead chain is a topping provided by Zoho Social. At Ace Gifting, we run ads through Facebook and LinkedIn. Now, with the help of this lead chain topping, we are able to sync all of our deals uh, records that are generated from these ads into our Begin account seamlessly. So we don't use any third party application like Zapier, which will cost us additional uh, and it also takes a lot of time. So we have just added this topping within our Begin account. Now let me show you how to install this topping in your account. So once you log into your Begin account, this is the home page that you will see. Go to settings on the top right corner. Click on the toppings from the left panel. You'll be able to see the toppings built by Begin here. Go to Marketplace. And as you can see, you'll find the lead chain for begin topping here. Click on install. Go to install here. And view all the details of your account and click on the checkbox.
this is the screen that you would be redirected to click on the terms and services and give continue to install so this is where you would choose that if you want your admins only to access uh, this particular topping or you want to install this for all users i will give it as all users and click on confirm now it would take some time for this topping to integrate with your begin account and as you can see the topping is uh, installed successfully and from here you can create multiple chains so we have given templates here as well so you can push leads from facebook ads to begin or vice versa likewise you can push ads from linkedin to begin and from begin you can uh, push it to linkedin as well similarly with tiktok so as you can see i already have one chain here so here this is uh, the facebook uh, form for ads you will have to link it with your begin account so i link it to contacts full name i'll map all these fields here and uh, this is how the topping works now moving on to the next feature that we use at ace gifting which is the e widget in zoho mail so previously this e widget was introduced only for gmail but uh, luckily this feature has now come to zoho mail because at ace gifting we use zoho mail as our primary email service provider now let me show you how this e widget works so this is zoho mail and once you go here you can see toggle e widget click on that and here you'll have all the extensions mentioned let me show you all the extensions here in the search apps you can type begin and enable this toggle you can also pin it so once you do that uh, you can see an email that we've received now let me show you how easily it is to capture contacts from within zoho mail so click on begins widget since this contact is not already available in begin you can see this add as contact click on that choose the owner that you want give the first name uh, give the last name given the email id if it if you want to give a company name you can do that as well mobile number phone all of the details and click on save now instantly this contact will uh, sync with begin and not just that right from here you can add your email as notes and this would also get synced instantly you can also view the pipeline record if uh, this particular contact already has been added to a pipeline in your begin account and you can also create a new task event or a call right within uh, zoho mail you don't have to toggle between your begin uh, account and your uh, zoho mail so this is how we use uh, e widget of zoho mail at ace gifting now moving on to the next feature which is forms in begin so this feature has been really helpful at ace gifting because we use multiple forms and one of the form is also embedded in our website of ace gifting to collect enquiries directly from our website now begin has introduced customization such as adding a logo to your form so let me show you this is the begin account uh, go to settings from the top right corner click on forms if you have not really created a form you can go to new form and there are two types of forms contact form and pipeline form so if you create a pipeline form uh, all the records would automatically uh, you know drop in your particular pipeline which whichever you choose from here so let me show you in an already existing form 
how the customizations work. So there is upload logo, which is very helpful for companies like Ace Gifting. So you can choose if you want the logo to be large, medium or small. You can also center the logo. You can also position the logo. And not just that, you can uh, you know choose the button color you can also position the buttons as in how you prefer you can add a background image as well from your uh, system we also have some predefined images here that are provided by begin and along with that you can also add a section title you can add up to five sections in your form so once you're done with this, you can click on next and you can enter a tag. Let's say if you want to know from where the leads have appeared, this particular tag would show you that these are uh, the deals that have come from a form. So there are options to share these forms. Like I said, I have embedded the form uh, at Ace Gifting's website. I'll show you how I did that as well. So, yeah, so here's the source code which Begin provides us with. And not just that, you can download this QR code. You can also copy paste the link on uh, social media sites as well, like uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we are also provided with the iframe and JavaScript. So moving on to the next feature that we use at Ace Gifting which is pipeline permissions. Now, once Ace Gifting's leads are channeled into Begin, our next course of action would be to take them through uh, a pipeline where various teams get involved in making sure that uh, a particular prospect is qualified. Now, this is where these pipeline permissions comes in handy because uh, we now easily assign the right amount of permissions to different users based on their roles and responsibilities. Let me show you how this works. So this is the pipelines module. And as you can see at Ace Gifting, I have created multiple pipelines. So click on this three dotted icon and go to edit permissions. So there are these uh, six different profiles. So based on uh, the profile, I can assign my uh, employees. So the organizer would be the super admin who will have permission to create a new pipeline, manage the pipeline, uh, edit and modify and delete any uh, pipeline and the records in the pipeline. Whereas a manager can only edit, uh, uh, create and view all the records, but they cannot manage or customize the pipeline. And manage uh, members would be able to only view their data and uh, edit their data. The members would be able to view all the data, but only be able to edit their own data. So likewise, participants can only view, create, and modify their records, but viewers will be able to view only their records and not any other records. So here I can uh, say participants can only uh, be the Shopify team for me, whereas managers can be salespeople. So likewise, I save this. And uh, yeah, the permissions get created. Now, moving on to the next feature with, which we use at Ace Gifting is stage automation. So stage automation is really, really helpful at Ace Gifting because uh, we set automatic triggers. Let me show you how. So let's say I want to set a trigger uh, in the proposal stage of Ace Gifting. So every time there is a lead that comes to this stage uh, of the order value of more than $500, I want to set a task for my users so that they don't miss out on these valuable deals. So the criteria that I would add here is amount, which is more than 500. And in such a scenario, a task needs to get created, notifying the deal owner 
after two days. So notify owner and a reminder should be set. Now I'll hit save and save here as well. So let me show you how this works. Let's say we are moving this Jensen deal, which is of $600 to proposal stage. Now click on the Jensen record and go to timeline. So here you can see proposal or price code and in the activities, you can see that a task for Jensen has been set up on September 27th, which is two days from now. So this is how stage automation works. You don't really, uh, you don't, you can also set more, uh, you know, workflows in terms of uh, sending an email, assigning an owner, assigning a tag, so on and so forth. Now, moving on to the next feature. So WhatsApp conversations. So we all know how WhatsApp is an essential channel of commun communication and qualification. Likewise, we make use of WhatsApp heavily at Ace Gifting. So I'm not sure how many of you make use of WhatsApp integration in your account, but uh, yes, Begin has WhatsApp integration now. To uh, enable that in your account, you need to go to settings and click on channels and messages here. And you will have to integrate WhatsApp business with your Begin account via Meta. So here, uh, initially in WhatsApp, we were not able to initiate a conversation with a customer. We were only able to respond to messages when a customer initiated a chat. But now using the templates, we can initiate a conversation with customer. So go to templates, create a new template. And once it's saved, it will go to approval. And once the template is approved, you will be able to see the status here. So go to messages and click on a new WhatsApp chat. You'll be able to see all the contact information here. You can click or type in uh, the particular contact that you want to message or send this template to. And as you can see here, you cannot initiate a chat, but only through sending a template message, you'll be able to initiate a chat. Um, now let's see. Uh, I'm going to be sending a estimate message. Send. Let me probably send another message. Send. Okay, so This is how, yeah, so this message has, uh, you know, delivered to the contact. And now let me show you how uh, the chat works. So once I reply, yes, once you've received a response from your customer, you'll be able to chat with them for the next 24 hours. You can also send, uh, you know, attachments from here. You can assign this particular chat uh, within your organization to other users. All of this is possible through uh, the WhatsApp integration of Begin. So moving on to the next feature, which is uh, the Shopify integration. So since uh, at Ace Gifting, we use uh, or we handle B2C customers, we heavily depend on Shopify integration to get direct orders from our B2C customers. So let me show you how this integration works in uh, a begin account. So again, I will have to go to settings, toppings, marketplace and click on 
Shopify. Install the Shopify topping. This is supported with uh, Premiere and Begin and Zoho One Edition. It is not uh, supported in Express Edition of Begin. Once you install, click on uh, the terms and conditions, give install. Check the boxes here as well. Continue to install. And now it's uh, preparing to install. So let me tell you this feature, how it works. There is a two way sync between Shopify and your begin account. So orders, products and the customers from Shopify would get synced into begin. Whereas from begin, only the contacts and the products would get synced to your Shopify account. So there is an instant sync between these two. And uh, you will have to get the Shopify access token, shop name, and the shop URL from your Shopify account to complete this integration between Shopify and Begin. Once you have all these details in hand, I will show you how to work around with it. Now, let's just give it a couple of more minutes for the installation to complete. And I'll show you how to map the fields of Shopify to your begin account. It is going to take some time. Let's wait. So in the meantime, I will tell you that if you have any questions uh, relating to your begin account, you can chat with us. You can click on need help. Uh, one of uh, uh, one of the new features that I'm not talking about in this session is the record screen feature where you can record any sort of issue that you have and send it to begin support team. And we'll be able to instantly help you with uh, your issue within your begin account. Because you sometimes what you do is you will have to schedule a call with our team or you will have to create a ticket. But uh, you will not be able to explain exactly what the issue that you have. So we have uh, given you an option of recording your screen. You can also blur the data that you do not want uh, us to see any sort of sensitive data so that we will not have any access to it. You can blur the data while you do the record uh, screen option. So you can definitely try it out. You can also drop an email to support at begin.com. We'll be able to help you out from here as well. So we have provided help resources. Uh, that is all the documentation that one might need to, uh, you know, work around with begin. So you can see all the videos here. If you want to watch any videos, you can see the pre-recorded webinars that we have, the training materials. Uh, so all of these details can be viewed within your begin application. So. Yes, so once you have installed your Shopify integration, click on edit. And as I mentioned earlier, you will need all these details. So luckily I have them handy with me here. So this is the API key that I have obtained from my Shopify account. This is the shop name and this is the shop URL. All these details are from my Shopify account. So only if you have a Shopify account, you will get all these details. Click Save and click on Authorize. So you'll have to connect and you'll have to read all of these details and click on Accept. Once you've done that, it would authorize and it would take you to the toppings page. 
Okay, so this is the screen that you will see once your integration is successful. You will have to click on activate sync and the two-way sync will take place. So this is how the Shopify integration works with uh, a begin account. Now moving on to the next feature that is the formula field integration so at ace gifting let me tell you how we make use of this feature so uh I, we have created a custom field of formula and uh, we have integrated this in our pipeline module so every time there is a deal and our sales agents can calculate the commissions we have uh introduce this formula field to calculate commissions of our sales agent within the begin application. So you'll have to go to settings, go to fields, click on the pipeline field, go to customize. And here you'll have to create a new custom field. Give it a name as let's say commission. Okay, let's say commissions for sales. Click on a field type, which is the formula field. So you can choose from the functions here. You can choose from the fields and the operator. So you have addition, subtraction, multiplication. You can choose any of these. So for today, I will be doing the formula for calculating commission. I am giving the commission value as 20% of a deal. You can you can give it uh, any value as per your business requirement. Check for the syntax. There's no error and hit save. Save here as well. And in this particular pipeline, commissions would get captured so it is in the order packaging pipeline here you can see you know thou okay let's take this one ten thousand dollar deal and in other info the commission should get calculated Let me show you in this. Let's say, yeah, as you can see, for 8,500, 1,700 would be the commission, which is 20% of $8,500. This is how we use uh, the formula field at Ace Gifting. Now, moving on to the next feature, and the last feature uh, we'll be covering in this session is the dashboard drill down. So this is a pretty straightforward feature. Earlier in Begin, we were only able to see uh, the number value of uh, the components in our dashboards. But with the help of drill down, we can now see all the records that are associated within this value. When you click on it, you will be able to see all the records here. And you can also click on that particular record and it would take you inside the record deal. So this is how dashboard drill down works. So we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was really helpful. All of these features will uh, definitely help your business. So now let me pass on this session to Tilton, who will be answering all your questions. Oh, before that, uh, we also have iOS updates. I'm so sorry. So we have iOS updates of uh, iOS 18. So in your uh, iPhone, you will now be able to add begins widgets in your control panel. We also have new app icons, which can, uh, you know, you can customize uh, the color of these app icons. Uh, one of the best updates is the in-app translation in case you have uh, emails that you receive from customers from France in French. You can easily translate uh, this within your Begins mobile app. 
There is also a new section added in the contacts module of iPhone, which has a begins module. You can also limit your contact access within begins mobile app. Uh, instead of opening begins mobile app, you can just go to the spotlight search and you can type any customer name or uh, a deal name and uh, the particular record would open up and uh, begins app is also compatible with uh, Mac OS of Sequoia. So now uh, let's move on to the most interesting segment, which is the Q&A session. So you can shoot your queries now and Tilton will take over from here. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, I believe uh, you have been posting your questions in the Q&A box and I think I have almost answered all your queries, but if you have a few more questions, please do write it down and I'll be able to have that answered. Uh, I'm just going to first go with the questions which I have not answered yet. So the last question, which I could see it was posted by Sabrina. Could I use view stage and sub stage in a unique view? Yes, uh, it is actually possible to have a specific a stage and a sub stage and create it in a view so that uh, that specific view can be shared to your users. So yes, that is possible. And uh, the next question that we have is from Phil. A few months ago, I tried the Shopify integration and it caused a substantial amount of record duplication in my Begin account. Many cu customers appeared numerous times, even though they were in Shopify just once. Has this been fixed? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, when this Shopify integration was released, uh, we have made uh, settings in such a way that the duplication shouldn't occur unless uh, you have multiple applications uh, which are integrated together. Like say, for example, if books and Shopify and begin all three is integrated. And if the duplication uh, check is not properly configured, then this duplication of records might happen. But if you still have any issues, we request you to write to support at begin.com so that our team can reach out to you. Maybe have a screen sharing session to check this out and have it fixed for you. And I, and another question that we have here is from Antonio. He wants to know how to have uh, sub stages created. Well, in begin, we have the option of creating stages under a pipeline and under a sub pipeline. So we have that option available. So if you would like to know more about it, uh, if you can just uh, drop an email to us, we can send you the articles of how to create uh, a stages inside a pipeline and a sub pipeline. And the next question that we could see here is from George Garza. Can you export your panel or dashboard data in a PDF format or an Excel? Uh, well, right now from dashboard, the data cannot be exported but you can make use of the export option, which is available inside the data administration under the settings. So from there, you can actually select from which specific module you need the data to be exported. Or what you could also do is, you could also create a view with a specific criteria and have that view exported out in an Excel format or a CSV file format. The next question that we have here is, uh, there are, there are a way to forecast revenue that has a payments by milestone. Example, 1,000 deals that has four payments based on milestone dates. Well, as of now, we do not have uh, forecasting available inside Begin, but we will definitely take this as a feedback to our product team to check for the feasibility in the near future. The next question from Tony is, is there a way to have an email field pre-filled in on a form if email takes them to begin. Uh, well, currently, Tony, this option is not available inside begin, but I think it's a very good uh, feature to have with. So we'll pass on this as a feature request to our team to see how soon they could bring up this feature inside begin for you. The next question from Sabrina is, do you have some webinars or trainings available for Teams pipeline? 
I think we already have a few recorded webinars which would be available in our website. You could definitely have a look into it. If in case you need a specific demo about it, we request you to actually uh, send us your availability to support at begin.com. And one of apps would be happy to have a session uh, based on team pipeline for you by collecting your requirement. And you can see on the screen, these are all the on-demand webinars which are available. So we had a few webinars in the past and you can definitely go through it. And uh, do you have any other questions? Please do post it in the Q&A box and I'll be happy to have it answered. Uh, Tilton, there is a question here. I think this is relating to uh, begins form. So I think there is uh, an acceptance box uh, a checkbox which we can add in the form so uh, well it's a checkbox that can be added but i believe it has to be sent to the customer so okay that's why i said it is not feasible so this session uh, i used gifting service only as an example uh, so you can use all of these features for your company but uh, just to give you an idea of how a business works, I took a gifting service as an example. Okay, I think uh, there's another question here about integration with Zoom info. Uh, as of now, we only have integration with Zoom where all your meetings that you handle can be uh, uh, converted into an online meeting with the help of Zoom integration. So. That is possible as of now. Tilton, what about this? I think it's relating to duplication of. Yeah, I, have, I think I have already given the answer for it, that uh, okay. it would be best if they could actually drop an email to us to see whether if the issue is still persisting for them. In case okay. if the issue is there, we would be happy to schedule a session to check this with our batch. Well. Okay. Uh, so I have enabled the poll questions. It would be great if you can take part in the poll and you can also let us know what is the next topic for the webinar that you would like for us to uh, host. I think uh, Antonio wants to schedule a session. I believe you have already uh, shared your email uh, with email address with us. So we'll send you a, a short email uh, quickly to schedule a based on your available. And your voice is breaking, I, Putin. Uh, is it audible now? Is it clear? Yeah, it's it's okay now. Okay. I was telling that uh, I'll be sending you an email. Uh, which has got a booking link so you can schedule a session with us using that and i hope that there is another question from daryl we sell tickets to our events via even right and also wix do you have integrations with both well at the moment direct integration but you can actually have it connected with the help of okay, let me try to check the connection here Okay, so to answer your question, Daryl, we have a Zoho Flow, which can help you with this, I believe. You can integrate Begin and Zoho Flow. Uh, is that right, Tilton? Yes, that's right, that's right. Okay. I think there is one more question where uh, Henrik has said that there is a telephony issue that exists in his Begin account. Uh, it would be best if you could actually drop an email to support at begin.com so that we can actually have this checked along with our phone bridge team. If you've yeah. that fixed. I think and you can also use the record feature and show what exactly is failing. What is the error message that you're getting so that we can also have a clear idea and provide you with the resolution at the earliest uh, 
Hendrik. And, uh, yeah, uh, currently do not have a direct integration with Zoom info, but we can check for the possibilities in the future about it. I think we have another question from Tori. When a potential customer fills out a begin form, does the customer's contact information just populate in contacts, or is there a way to show the potential customers as a new lead? In other words, how the user identified a new lead has been generated via begin form? Well, once the person submits the form, automatically that data gets pushed in the contact if it's a contact form or if it's a pipeline form, then the data is pushed to the pipelines module. And if it's a contact, then uh, you have also got an option uh, where the leads will be captured by the contacts to ensure that it whether it's a proper lead or not. So from there, you can uh, take it forward and approve it. If it's approved, then it comes into your actual contact list bucket. So basically, as I explained before, uh we have two types of forms if you just want to capture contacts you can use this form but if you want a particular submission to land as a deal you will have to choose the particular pipeline which you want and create the form so every time there is a submission in this particular form it will land in the sales pipeline daryl i believe if you have a question related to the form that can be used, uh, if you could share your email address, uh, we will try to share the formula that can be used to have your requirement fulfilled. Well, at the moment, when it comes to uh, forcing function, uh, we do not have any topping Available, but we'll closely have a look into it to see what best we could do to bring up something in the near future. I hope all of you have taken part in the poll. Okay. Do we have any other questions? I believe he's got a question here. Uh, I think he wants to know whether there is any e-widget with Outlook. Uh, well, at the moment, we only have it for Zoho Mail, and we have a, a Gmail add-on, uh, which can be used. But for Outlook, uh, we don't have one. We can check uh, with the feasibility for it in the future. And another question from Brad is, can you show an example of a pipeline stage automation Using the create connected records action, I think he. Uh, I, I mean, Brad wants to know about it. Uh, but, uh, I think it would be best if you could actually uh, schedule a session with us so that we can show a live demo about it. How the connected records features for you. Really glad that we were able to help you out, Daryl. Uh, you can definitely visit uh, Begin's community page. For all of you here, if you have any questions uh, or if you want to know about what's new in Begin, uh, you can click on the resources page, go to community. All of the details relating to Begin would be posted here. All the announcements, if we are coming to uh, your city for meetups, if uh, we are introducing a new feature or an enhancement we would definitely post it here 
so you'll get to know all the updates even uh, updates relating to webinars you can also have discussions with other begin uh, users you if you want you can use the idea and post an idea if you have all of these uh, can be done within begins community page Daryl, uh, regarding the G, uh, Gmail add-on, you will be able to add contacts. Tell us you will be able to view them. So that is possible using the Gmail add-on. And uh, it's good to hear that you have signed up just today. So de definitely our team will reach out to you today to give you more insights about Begin. Uh, Deborah, we will definitely look into it. Uh, I think I would definitely have your email ID if you've registered for this webinar. I will inform my team to look into it and extend your trial. Great. Do we have any other questions? Anything related to the features that we spoke about today? We're glad we were able to help you, Antonio. Thank you. Thank you for joining this session. Thank you for taking part in this session, Daryl. Thank you to Shanice. Uh, Tilton, I think we can wrap up this session. Yeah, sure. And uh, if in case anyone has got any further questions, feel free to write to us. We'll always be there to assist you. Great. Thank you all for your time. I hope this session was really helpful for you. You can drop us an email if you have any questions. Thank you.